is 413. I can do all through he who gives me strength. You can do anything. What up, Louis Vito, professional snowboarder, X Games gold medalist, Olympian. This is my ink. People look at me funny no matter what. I would be going through an airport and people always give me sideways eye until I board the plane before them and then I'm like, what's up? Diamond, medallion, what's up? I like when people stare at me. That's the best way to do it. This way, but I would oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Dude, dude, that's freaking perfect. Let's do it. Growing up, snowboarding was about like, snowboard hard, party hard, snowboard hard, party hard. And I lived that life when I was younger, but it got to a point where the tricks are getting so insane. The competition is getting so insane. My dad and I sat down and like, all right, it's time to step up. I stopped drinking now, I'm like two and a half years sober. Now I'm in good shape and I'll smoke anybody. You bring me an NFL dude, you bring me a boxer, anybody that comes in, we'll go at it. Franco's gonna finish off my arm today. I really like Franco style, the black and gray. I enjoy tattooing people that are really good at what they do because there's a chemistry of relating to that. Like, you know, to be an excellent snowboarder, skateboarder, surfer, tattoo artist, it never happens on accident. You actually have to like suffer to get that way. My mom used to give me the St. Christopher medals because I travel a lot. I was young and St. Christopher is a saint of safe travels and protection. But I'd break them and you'll lose them being a young kid. So I got a great idea, I just tattoo that on my arm and I'll never lose it. Growing up in Ohio, it wasn't a huge snowboarding scene, so I didn't really know, oh, I could do this for a living. That was never my goal right off the bat. It was more like, I just love snowboarding. It was cool, it was different, you know? I thought it was way better than playing football. Snowboarding, you could do whatever you wanted to do. There's no right or wrong. I think I like the freedom. No matter where I went, I rode trash dumps that were turned into ski resorts, and that was super fun for me. But my dad told me a quote, and I still live by it today, and it's, if you're good enough, they can't ignore you. And that's kind of the way I live. People can love me, they can hate me, but they can't deny my riding. In the Italian household, it's normally family, religion, the rest, you know, but family is always number one. So I wanted to get Vito family in Italian. You're getting a Jesus face collaged in to my pre-existing tattoos. It's an Italian themed piece because it's done by Michelangelo, the Pieta, which kind of rhymes with what we got going on. In France, the Euro X Games, I was just ready. I was like, I'm gonna stomp the shit out of this thing. And a French kid is in first place with like a ridiculous score. Like, he had it sealed up. I was ready to like, kill somebody. I was so, I've never been like that, like, gritted out ever. I put it down and I knew it was a good run. And I don't claim runs, I'm never like, yeah. But I just definitely did the boom. Beat the French kid in France. Russia, I'm sure, is gonna be crazy for the Olympics. The fans, the security, the politics. I mean, it's gonna be insane, but I just wanna go and show the world who's number one. Woo. I have so many goals and so many things I wanna do. This is my time now, and I, I just wanna be the best, so when I look back, I have no regrets. I did everything in my power to be the best that I could be. I started young. I was like 13 years old. I had nationals and my mom said if I scored over 10 goals that I could get a tattoo. And then I scored 13. We won nationals. 